Hi folks, David Creative Craft House. I'm sometimes asked by teachers or educators uh, for, for help, items that might help them in the learning process in, in a fun way. And this is uh, something that someone asked me to do. It's called, we call it the fractions puzzle. And what I've got here is a nice uh, floorboard base that we made. And there are a series of bars in here. We have this one labeled as a one. And then we have um, half of that, th uh, thirds, quarters, fifths, sixths, eighths, and tenths. These are wood. Uh, this is quarter inch thick, so you can see it's quite strong, cut with the grain. And I've alternated wood colors just because it looks kind of cool. We've got maple and alder here. I may vary the woods over time, but I'll try to keep contrasting colors. Now this is something that, that might be quite helpful in developing skills with introductory skills with, with fractions. Um, some students learn fine just on paper and in their head, but others can, it can be very helpful to have physical objects to actually see what the, uh, the math is representing. Um, there's a number of things you might do with this. Um, one, and I'm sure you'll come up with uh, plans that fit with your application that you're trying to teach, but you might just ask some questions and have some fun with this. For example, uh, is there any way to use thirds and the fifths to create a, a full bar across of unit one? Hmm. Now we might try that physically, and then we might uh, try that mathematically also. In other words, the question is, is there any combinations of one third and one fifth that will equal one? Any combination of these, you know, x of these or y of these? Well, um, this can get into least common denominators. What is the least common denominator of 3 and 5? Well, it would be 15. Least common denominator is the, number, the lowest number that both will go into, and that would be 15. So 3, 1 third would be 5 fifteenths, 1 fifth would be 3 fifteenths, and we're trying to make it equal 15 fifteenths. Is there any way to do that? Hmm. And just, you know, in your math in your head, let's see if I took a couple fives, oh, and that leaves, it would be 10, and I need to get five more, and three won't go into five. Well, if I took maybe three threes, that would be nine and then 1 4 would be 14, and it quickly becomes evident that this is not possible to do, um, and you can demonstrate that uh, with the box. You might ask questions like, uh, can we mix these rows up such that no row, every row has at least one different block in it? And a number of ways to do that, of course, but um, uh, that's a challenge that they might tackle. Looks like you're thirds and six are going to have to kind of work together here and other things will become evident. I've also on the one bar uh, I've put some graduations in here uh, we have got um, tenths but we've also got I've divided that so essentially we've got uh, twentieths and I've divided that so essentially we've got fortieths so this is divided into fortieths of a unit um, unit one, and you might find that interesting as they check to size or to build other fractional increments. Okay, so, uh, oh, I also want to mention this will come with a cover. I know uh, educators are always concerned about losing pieces, so I did do a cover for this. It will come sitting in it as you buy it. The cover comes, goes, it's a nice cover, comes right over the top, protects all the pieces when you pop, want to put them away. And as it comes packaged, it'll, it'll look like this. This is made right here in our Hudson, Florida shop. And oh, by the way, these, these are all laser engraved. They're not inked or stamped. These are deeply laser engraved. <clears throat> so they won't, won't wear, should last uh, a lifetime. Okay, thanks very much.